Hello guys, welcome to Fire Racer Workshop and in today's video we are going to be performing another experiment on AutoCAD. So the aim of the experiment is to study the rectifier circuit. Now I've already performed uh, two parts of this particular uh, experiment. So do check out those videos before watching this videos because those are going to be really really important for this video. I'm not going to be covering any basics in this video I'm just gonna straight away go with the circuit so just click on the pop-up I button to just watch those two videos first and then come back to watch this video also I've made the real-life tutorials for this video in which I've just shown all this rectifier circuit using my real oscilloscope on my on my like on my lab in my lab sorry so you can also watch that video and those are like really interesting to watch and you must watch that, those videos because in the real life you don't get the exact same results that you get in the piece spice uh, or by simulating the circuit let's just get started what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, again simulate this circuit like I'm just gonna edit one of my circuits so this is a half wave rectifier I'm just opening up the file so you have to just like watch my previous video if you don't know how I simulated this circuit and how I made this circuit that's why I told you I'm not gonna be covering any basics in this video double click on the circuit just open up with or cat piece pie Anyways, so what we're gonna do is eventually we're just gonna delete each and everything from right here. Just delete it all. Now what we are left with is the primary winding that's connected to the power source that, that has an amplitude of 170 volts RMS and the frequency of 60 Hertz. And there's a coupling and there's the transformer. So you can see the parameters of the transformer as well. So let's just remove this ground as well. So let's just import the diodes, just click, just tap on the P key of your keyboard and let's just import the diodes, D, 1 and 407. So essentially we are going to need, I don't think this is the right diode, so let's just type in one more time, D, 1, capital N, 407. So, so this is the one that we want, so we don't need this design cache. So we want the diode, the actual diode, otherwise it's not, not going to simulate in the simulate in the piece pie. So be careful of that. So we need to add four diodes in the circuit. I'm not going to explain this in detail because I've already explained this circuit in really great detail, in really great depth in my videos that I've made, uh, like I've just like in which I've just simulated the circuit in real life. So do check that out in, in that video, in that particular video, I've explained the circuit in detail. So do check that out if you want to see the explanation. Just click on the pop-up I button, so therefore you can just watch my video on that particular topic. Let's just continue with this thing. Let's just add two diodes in, facing in this direction right here. And then we are going to click on R to rotate these diodes. And we are going to add two diodes that are facing in this direction. That's it. So our diodes have been added. So let's just connect everything up. So these two diodes are going to be short circuited. So let's just click on fire W. So let's just first of all add the resistor as well. So it's just a bit easier to wire and we can just wire up each and everything in a single go. So we're going to add our analog. So double tap on this, our analog. So let's just rotate it and just place it right here. And now what we're going to do is, and in this particular example, I'm just going to remove the ground as well from this particular section. So. Let's just tap on W and let's just fire these diodes up. These diodes are going to be connected to one another and similar cases with these diodes. Let's just place it so that these become like a bit more equal. I'm sorry. I just double tapped on the diode. Let's just close this tab that it just opened up. So let's just place it down a bit. This software seriously sometimes it just really annoys me anyways let's just move it down a bit because of course we want a circuit to look pretty so let's just click on the wire let's just wire everything up now in this we're just gonna wire these two dials together and we're gonna wire these two dials together and these two dials are just gonna be connected to the ground so let's just, first of all, let's just connect our resistor as well. So 
that's all. Now let's just add our ground. Zero CAPSYM, this is what we need. Double tap on this one. And just add it right here. I don't know what the hell just happened right here. So I have to just see this. Let's just wire it one more time. I might have clicked in the wrong direction, so that might have happened due to that. So let's just wire this ground up. Again, we are gonna type like again. We just need some ground. So C A P S Y M. Add this ground right here. Wire this up. That's all. So our circuit has been fully assembled, and we are gonna add another ground. Now we are just gonna add our V C C like the we need to add some reference voltages from where we can take the readings so over here now this thing we are gonna use in differential measurement as we can't just like connect our ground over here otherwise it's just gonna short it out so one voltage for we are connect gonna connect over here let's just click on R to rotate this voltage voltage whatever this is called I just don't know what it's called exactly so let's just move it down a bit so Again, we're just gonna need some more VCC voltage common collector. Okay, let's just add one right here. That's it. Now our circuit is ready to be simulated. So again, I'm not just gonna explain the circuit in detail. Now let's just again change the value of these things. So it's gonna be V M A I N means plus. So this is gonna be V means minus V means minus negative. So anyway, we just need to just change the name to V out, and we just need one more uh, voltage point that we have to measure at. So let's just add that thing VCC over here, right here. We just we want to like this this will be our output voltage so of course we need to add this thing right here and over here also we need to perform the differential measurement so again we are going to add another voltage point so i'm going to show you how to perform the differential measurement so don't worry about that i'm just going to explain you each and everything so rotate it a bit that's it now let's just type in v in Plus. We're just gonna assume it to be the posture. You can also type in V in mine V in one, V in two, etc. So V in negative, we are gonna name it. So actually at this particular point we just don't need to uh, make the differential measurements because this side is isolated from this side, so this ain't gonna matter much. So we're just gonna add our ground over here as well. So V it's gonna be G and D. 0 CAP SYM. So this is what we need. We want to add it over here, wire this up, connect it to the circuit. Now all these points have been connected to one another. So our resistor is also connected. Now we're just going to keep, we're just going to keep the resistor value to be 1K. We're just not going to change that. And similar goes for the L1, L2 value. So this is all fine. So let's just simulate our circuit. Go to piece pies and click on run. I hope everything's going to be, yeah everything is fine now so let's just first of all add another window so we can just like see our circuit much more clearly on this first of all like we just like add the trace for the mains power and the transformer output that we are getting so v mains now we are having two mains i don't know what happened so let's just see so we need the v mains v main we can just delete so anyways so leave v main so we're just gonna type like we're just gonna refer to v mains and what we need is another source that we need is uh let's just first of all let's just uh, plot the v mains so you can see over here this voltage is having a peak of 170 volts so let's just add another trace add trace so what we're gonna do is now we have, will be performing differential voltage measurement at this particular point. So what we'll essentially do is we're just going to subtract this voltage right here with this voltage right here. So let me show you how to do that. So we'll be just click on V in. So over here you can see the trace expression has changed. Just tap on the minus sign on your keyboard minus and just now select V out. Uh, sorry, not V out, the V in negative. 
so this is how we are just gonna uh, measure the differential voltage now click on ok now you can see the differential voltage is being measured now you can see it's a sinusoidal wave now let's just add some cursors to the measurement and let's see what's the amplitude that we're getting now the amplitude that we're getting is for the mains voltage that's 167 volts and for the output we are getting 16.639 uh, something something so it's just like pretty accurate and i'm just happy with my results so let's just get rid of this cursor i don't know how to get rid of this wait so this is how we'll just get rid of the cursor just click on over just click over here so this is how you just like get rid of the cursor let's just select this window and let's just add our output now add trace we're gonna add our v first of all let's just add both the things v in plus minus v in minus so this is the differential voltage that we're getting at the output of the transformer and that is going to act as an input for the rectifier circuit so let's just click on ok you can see the beautiful sine wave that has a peak value of around 17 volts and then rms value of 12 volts let's just add another trace so we're gonna go to add trace and click on v out and hit ok now you can see we are getting continuous positive bumps in the voltage like we got uh, when we simulated this like when we performed this experiment in real life so this is how the full bridge rectifier works so essentially at the positive half of the cycle we are getting a bump in the voltage and at the negative half of the cycle we are getting again a positive bump so it's just making the voltage uh positive so the negative the negative half cycle is also converted to the positive half cycle but in this particular case the diode drop is going to be greater because the current has to pass through two diodes so the essential voltage drop is going to be around 1.4 volts in this particular circuit because we use the one and uh, the one and four double oh seven diodes so that these have a voltage drop of around 0 0.7 volts so let's just display the cursor and now let's just measure the voltage drop that we're getting so at around here we are getting the peak value so over right around here you can see the i guess this is the one that we need to see v in so this is around 16.756 volts and the v out is the 15 point 3 to 9 volts so you can see the voltage drop is around 1.2 volts or 1 point something something so 1.4 volts is around the voltage drop so you can see that our results are pretty accurate and you can also see how the voltage drop is going to be this much so because in the positive half cycle now i'm not just going to explain it just watch my previous video because in that particular video i just explained it in a lot of detail so that's all guys so let's just also add a resistor to show you how the waveform is going to look like so it's just going to be similar to the center tap transformer rotate the capacitor i'm sorry we're going to add a capacitor not a resistor i don't know why i'm having a slip of tongue so much so just add the zero capsym at the ground so just wire everything up so change the capacitor value to 220 microfarad what is f capital so uh, okay so we are all done let's just simulate the circuit again now i'm not just gonna add another trace window so i'm just gonna add the trace v in minus v uh, v in minus minus v in plus so this is gonna give us the output of the transformer that we are getting at the secondary winding and now let's just plot the output of the rectifier circuit so that's going to be v out so you can see over here we are getting continuous ripples right about here so at this particular point the circuit like the circuit is just like the uh, capacitor is just getting charged and then it's just getting discharged so you're just getting some ripples now we can also like increase the capacitance you know that after that the uh, the voltage is going to stay constant at one value because 2200 microfarad is a large capacitance for a load as small as one kilo ohm so uh, that's all guys so if you also want to see so okay let me just show you otherwise you just comment down below that okay you haven't shown us so okay let's just simulate the circuit again you should at least support my dedication you see even when i know that a particular thing is gonna happen then also i'm just like showing you so that you people have no doubt 
anyways so that's the v out i can see over here we're getting almost a continuously like almost a perfect sine wave with almost no ripples so the sine wave is just like uh not a sine wave i'm sorry we are getting a rectified output so the output is just like way cleaner and there are almost no ripples in the power supply so this is all guys so thanks for watching my videos now i've just covered all these experiments so next series what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cover the filter circuits so that is the low pass filter and the high pass filter and those uh, two, the, those two experiments are just really really good and these are just really interesting as well so let's just cover those two experiments as well in the next upcoming some video in the upcoming videos i'll be covering those experiments so till then don't forget to like share and subscribe and please share it with the friends that you think that uh, need this video so if they are having a practical exam or something like that so please share my videos because it's just going to be really helpful for them as well so that's all guys. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.